cinders. You shall go to the ball. Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. Princess Day. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> but some <laughs> take it to extremes. <sighs> Meet the brides who will stop at nothing to get what they want. If I can't find the perfect dress, there just won't be a wedding. Too, too skirt. No, very. No matter what it takes. It looks lovely. I look like a £10 hugger. Or what it costs. I don't actually know how much we've spent. Oh, but you know, you just feel like you're doing so much stuff and, like, trying to hold everything together. And heaven help anyone who gets in the way. That bridesmaid is no longer coming to my wedding. Don't drink anymore. Don't, don't drink don't anymore. Drink. I'm going to be sick. You have got my rings, haven't you? I've got a killer. If you were like that at the end of the aisle, I will not walk down it. That bitch needs to die. Tonight's show, <laughs> tattoos, skulls, and a kick-ass bride. Look at the table plan, and then you'll understand what I'm going to say to you. If it shocks me, Amy likes it. If I hate it, Amy likes it. Shut up, mother. And a fairy tale wedding, whatever the cost. I did try and plan a budget, and it's already come to 26 without the finishing touches. So long as it's perfect. It's too much for me. I, I like it more natural. It does look natural, though. No, it doesn't. Before my wedding, I'm like, nah, it's going to be my way or a jog. 29-year-old <laughs> Amy from Hampshire is hell-bent on having the wedding she wants. The lucky man she's marrying is 42-year-old Patrick. Go like this, yeah? Go. No holding hands. Oh, yeah. well, they're linking. It was fine. They can do what they want. I've always, always had a problem with authority. I hate people telling me what to do. <laughs> I'd rather be giving out the orders. Well, I can't argue what I want. Just do as I tell you! Clearly, Amy's in her element giving orders for her alternative wedding. So, our wedding, like, I've kind of gone for the name Twisted Christmas, cos it's all Christmas themes inside the venue, but it's, like, skulls and, like, a little bit, like, gothic. So, these are part of our decorations for the wedding. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as you can see, it's a massive skull. <laughs> I'm going to take one and show my mum. <laughs> I can imagine her face when she sees it. The wedding may be weeks away, but it wasn't always on the cards. When me and Pat first met, I knew he hated me. I was like a loud, gobby, drunken little shitbag. Come on. But a year later, the potty mouth diva bagged her man. Good play. <laughs> <laughs> she annoys me at times, but... I wouldn't change her. So this is Amy's attempt to get me slim in two weeks. It's not going to happen. It's not. It's just healthy. It makes your skin good. I'm definitely the boss in our relationship. <laughs> and Pat knows that. He likes to think that he uh, is the boss, but he knows he's not. She likes to think she's the boss, you know what I mean? No, I definitely I like to let her think she's a boss and then manipulate behind the scenes. No, you don't. I make the rules. He just sings along to my tune. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Aisha, will you mm. grab the little things? They're on the top table, the little roll of um, things. On the top table. I'm losing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Wooden it's things. Fine, don't worry. Amy may be in charge of what's happening at the wedding, but she's definitely not in charge of paying for it. That's Pat's job. With this wedding, I've not really held back at all. I've kind of seen something, got it, not even shopped around and looked if there was anywhere cheaper, just brought it. <laughs> Where's Davison? Okay, cool. So Dave. I've had a spreadsheet. Down. I'll probably throw myself off a cliff. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll start tying everything up. I just know that there was that amount once upon a time, and now there's like that amount. Yeah, well, it's all so. worth it. It will all be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm fussier than I thought I was. I like things to be perfect. 29-year-old Clarissa from Essex got engaged to Tony a year ago. And it's been weddings, weddings, weddings ever since. <laughs> I am completely and utterly obsessed with marriage. And marriage and weddings and brides and brides' dresses and shoes and everything. <laughs> I know what I want and I go to get it. It isn't just about me, it is about both of us. But I'm pretty sure that everyone's looking forward to seeing me on the day. <laughs> As an accountant, Clarissa is all about the detail. And there's lots of wedding details. Ideally, I want it girl boy, girl boy. This bride knows exactly what she wants. 
I just love things to be even. I don't like things to be odd. I think I've done the, the most yeah, of no, the wedding. Yeah, you have done most. I would have said 55, 45 in your favour. Are you sure about that, Tony? Doing stuff, I think it's more 80 my way, or even 90. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah OK. Nothing and no one will stand in her way. This is Lucy's hanger. Originally, this was Lucy's dress. That bridesmaid is no longer coming to my wedding. Lucy is no longer a bridesmaid because we had a disagreement with her partner and we uninvited him to our wedding, so she said she's not coming either. We did originally get on with um, her partner, but he caused some arguments with us that were unnecessary. And so we decided we're not going to pay for someone who we don't want to be at our wedding. Decision made, Clarissa has moved on, and so has the dress, to another bridesmaid. She needs to try this dress on ASAP, really. If the dress doesn't fit, then she'll have no dress to wear at the wedding, basically, because I can't get another one. There's no time. With the wedding fast approaching, Clarissa is making sure Tony knows exactly what will happen. I'm going to come through here at the back. It's going to be like a white carpet all the way along there. The couple started out with a budget of about eight grand, but it seems perfection might come at a slightly higher cost. Not that Clarissa is worried about the numbers. I'm an accountant, so everything's always a spreadsheet. Three, four, five. Yeah. Like, I, I love, like, writing down how much things are going to cost and working out how much they cost and how much you actually spent on stuff, like flowers, how much um, dress might be, jewellery, suits. Uh, I, I did try and plan a budget, and it's already come to 26 without the finishing touches. It's only 18 grand more than originally thought. Might be time to audit these accounts. In Hampshire, it's two weeks until Rebel Bride Amy ties the knot. Don't hold hands, no holding hands. I've always, always had a problem with authority. I hate people telling me what to do. <laughs> I'd rather be giving out the orders. Why well, can't I do what I want? Just fucking do as I tell you. No one is standing in the way of this unconventional bride when it comes to her wedding. I'm going to take one and show my mum. <laughs> I can imagine her face when she sees it. <laughs> Today, she's got her final dress fitting, and she's dreading it. Hi. I'm freaking out a little bit about my dress, so I've been really busy, not really being super healthy. So if my dress doesn't fit, then we don't really have another plan, so it's a little bit of a nightmare, it's a little bit dawning. Would you like to come through for a fitting? Yes, thank you. She's brought Mum Rose and bridesmaid Aisha along. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. But Mum and Amy don't always see eye to eye. Come on, woman. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain parts of the wedding I would have liked different, more traditional. How are you getting on? All right. All right. It's on. That's good. It fits. <laughs> it fits. Yay! No dramas. <laughs> I would have liked a little bit more of a fairy tale wedding. <laughs> but that's Amy. If she wants me to get involved or... But every time I do get involved, we have a row. <laughs> Probably best to keep mum then, mum, particularly if you don't like the dress. Right, we're ready. <gasps> Ooh. Oh! Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. It's huge. <gasps> it's incredible. It's perfect, it's thank you. I love it. It's beautiful. I wasn't expecting beautiful. It's, um... Traditional. I wasn't expecting traditional. Oh, I just love it. I'm like a princess. You are a princess. Amy's not really a traditional sort of girl. If it shocks me, Amy likes it. If I hate it, Amy likes it. But we are in agreement with the dress, which is amazing. I love everything about this dress. After the surprise of the traditional dress, it's back to business as usual. Let's see your shoes. Do you like my wedding shoes? Woohoo! <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Comfy, yeah. I will not be falling anywhere. <laughs> um, I'm wearing trainers because I am rubbish in the hills and will probably fall flat on my face. That's not what we need. Way! Trainers! And tights. <laughs> yes, <Central>. lad! <laughs> Time for normal relations to continue with mum. Why don't you just go with something really, really bizarre? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, mother. <laughs> I've had my final dress fit in and it's perfect. Fits like a glove. Um, yeah, it's perfect. So that dress is uh, over now.
almost a thousand more to go. <laughs> In Essex. Hello, you all right? It's the final dress fitting for Clarissa's bridesmaids and the first fitting for bridesmaid Natasha of the dress she's inherited. Oh, it looks okay. small from here. It's not too small for you. <laughs> How long have I got to the wedding? How many weeks? Loads of You've got um, six weeks to the wedding. Oh, I could do this in six weeks. <laughs> I need to do that in six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get it on. It's time to find out if the dress fits. If you turn around for us, how's that feel? It feels all right. It doesn't feel small, but, but obviously the back doesn't do up. Back. OK, right. Hold her hand so I can pull her. Don't be so quick there, Natasha. Just needs a bit of brute force. <laughs> we'll close. <laughs> it will close. It will close. <laughs> close. Let me tie it up. My dress, slightly too small. Oh, jeez. So now it just has to be altered so that it can fit me perfectly. I was worried about it not going over a bum, and it did. That's one dress size yeah, smaller than she thought she could get into, so <laughs> that's good. While Natasha might be gasping for breath in her dress, Clarissa's sister Shana is worried about unwelcome guests making an appearance in hers. When, like, this gets adjusted properly, then it will feel more, like, secure. Yeah, like, right now it feels a bit like I'm spillage, a bit of spillage going on. <laughs> Here's hoping any spillage is contained on Clarissa's big day. Cheese. Say it, cheese. Cheese. In Hampshire, bride-to-be Amy has been rather better at splashing the cash than keeping track of it. But with the wedding fast approaching, bride and groom have decided to tot up the damage. Should we work out the costs of the wedding? We must. <laughs> <laughs> I've financed about 99.9% .9 of the wedding. <laughs> um, yes, but, yeah, I expected that. I earn more money, so... So the venue was... Three... Seven, five, eight, wasn't it? Three, eight, I think. Dress. One, five, zero, zero. Photographer, seven, fifty. Bryce made dresses. She said 700 the other day. Yeah, and the shoes, bridesmaids, eight hundred. Only mean was three grand. Three thousand pounds. Oh God! With this wedding, I've not really held back at all. I've kind of seen something, got it. Not even shopped around and looked if there was anywhere cheaper. Just brought it, and uh, yeah, not budgeted very well. <laughs> Put your calculator. <clears throat> three thousand eight hundred. One thousand five hundred. Three twenty. 180, 175, 530, 300, 750, 800, 300, 750, 800. 13,110. I didn't think it was that much. That's a lot of money. It's probably about three thousand more than I actually thought it was, to be honest. I'm skint now, but if it's any money, I'm sure it'll be worth it. It will be. Better be. <laughs> <laughs> hey! It may be her way or the highway, but Amy still needs workers to turn her wedding plans into reality. I need you two to do these the name placements, but I need to work out who's got the neatest writing out of you two, and me and Aisha are going to do the frame. So today I've got my three bridesmaids, three of my best friends coming round, and we've got to do the photo frame for the guest book. We've got to do the name places, like the cards, just generally run through everything for the day, make sure we know all what we're doing and make sure they know what they're doing. Table seven, yeah. we've got Chris and Vicky. Yeah. Harry Detox. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's his DJ name. Like, I don't oh, even know, right. I don't actually know his surname. <laughs> I'm definitely a perfectionist when it comes to my wedding. I'm only going to get this once, so it has to be perfect. Why are they not the same? Look, they're none the of same. the others have that on it, Aish. Yes, they do. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Mark along here, mark along here. We don't need that one. Yeah, you do. No, we don't favours. They're going on the tables. For my wedding, I'm like, nah. Like, you, it's going to be my way or jog. <laughs> on to place cards for the tables. And Natasha's got the high-pressure job of writing the names. 
So these are going to have people's names on for little places on the table stash. OK, and you want me to write on them? Every single one. Tash, you know you've got lush writing. I know, but the pen's really hard. I like this one. That's mine. Do that again. <laughs> Please don't ever on what. OK, no, look at me, I'm free. Don't look at her. Planning the wedding, Amy definitely knows what she wants. Uh, and if you get it wrong, she'll let you know about it. So I hope I don't get anything wrong. Oh my god, there's so much pressure. It's fine, you'll be alright. They're gonna be too. Were they more puffy last time? Or did you yeah. pull it out? You open them out. So... While Amy wasn't looking, Natasha's escaped. But the other bridesmaids are going nowhere. Aisha and Alice are now on photo frame decorating duty under Amy's close supervision. I want them to look like a big flower. You may need flower, to tape that. A paper flower. <laughs> Alice's looks a little bit limp. I think we need some pom-poms at the bottom, like little ones. Yeah. I just want it to look busy, full of me and my face. Yes. <laughs> what would be your worst nightmare on the day? Not getting into my dress. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm it's just in my head. I'm just like, you know, when you're like, just before you get married, you're like thinking of all the scenarios in your head. That's like my main thing. I'm sure I'll be fine. You will be fine. It's just in my mad little head. That You'll probably... be fine. You'll be. Have you gonna... left anything totally to pat to arrange that you don't know whether it's going to work or happen or...? Not at the moment. There's still quite a few bits to do, so... I think that you anything you've left up to him to do and that not, you're... Not just him. <laughs> I think you're really calm. I think... At the moment. Yeah, but still. I think you'll be stressed out, but for no real reason. Yeah, I'm probably just going to yeah, be just freaking stressed out. out. But like, yeah. I'm going to stress out because she's going to be freaking out. I will be fine. Actually, when we go out, you're a nightmare. I know, you are going to be like, think, I'm freaking out. Do you think I'm going to be like, I'm probably going to melt down, but on yeah. the inside. And it's I'll your be wedding. like freaking out for you, like, oh my God, what's going on? No, I... I'm when just it, hoping we can all pull our shit together. And when it maintain. comes to important things, I'm not going to let you know if I'm having Alex, a meltdown. Alex, that's wonky, mate. I think oh, we need I should have got the things. That, yeah. See, I tried that glitter paint. Let's rub it. Oh, um, mitzi! Mitzi! <laughs> 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 Come on, sassy little no. thing. No. In Essex, as her big day gets ever nearer, the magnitude of the day and how much it's costing is becoming more apparent to Clarissa. As we're getting closer and I'm booking more things and we're paying for, like, final payments for the venue and for suppliers, so it's becoming very real. To keep costs under control, Clarissa and Tony have got tough. Bad news, kids. We have decided that we're not having children at the wedding and People have made a big deal about it, but at the same time, would they pay that extra? If you've got two children and it costs us an extra £80 to have your children, you've got two, would you pay us the £160 to bring your child to the wedding? Because you're spending so much money, an additional £150, it's not that much money in the grand scheme of things. But then obviously when you then start adding it all up, it, that's when it turns into the additional £1,000. It isn't all about the money, though. I've been to a few weddings where there's a lot of noise made by children and kids are running around and they're pushing people over and they don't know what they're doing. But I don't want to hear in my, my, my video for my, me walking down the aisle a child crying and I don't want to be knocked over on the dance floor and I don't want some sticky hands on my dress either. So I just feel like you've got to please yourself and your partner. <laughs> Keeping the bride happy also means bad news for the odd adult. Clarissa's dad left when she was young, and although she has a good relationship with Dad Victor, Clarissa's sidelined him. Oh, this is my, my dad and my two brothers doing karate years ago. This is me and my brother. My brother's gonna be walking me down the aisle. It's my decision, it's the one decision I made that I've always wanted. But no matter how much anyone kicks up a fuss, I want my brother walking me down the aisle, that's it. Dad Victor has had to get on side with her plan. She didn't tell me, my brother told me that Aaron was walking her down the aisle. I was upset. I was upset. And I know Riss has got her own mind. And if that's the case, it's her wedding. Basically, I'm happy with what she decides. But I love her, and that's that's all that matters. I love her. 
in Essex with her budget bulging. Clarissa is having her final dress fitting. <laughs> her measurements were taken over a year ago and she's worried she's blown that too. Well, since it got measured, I've put on weight because we've got a house and I've been eating crap. So I'm not looking forward to it because I don't think it's going to fit me. <laughs> but I think it'll be OK. It'll be OK. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. I put on quite a bit of weight, actually, so it's the opposite way that girls should go when they're getting married. It's been over 14 months since her measurements were first taken and she's worried. Right, I'm going to start pulling in now. OK, I'm pulling on. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Still brave? I can yeah. <laughs> Unlike her bridesmaids, she's brought her family along for the big reveal. Wow. So nice. <laughs> Dad Victor hasn't seen the dress, but it's too late now if he doesn't like it. Do you like it? I like it, love it. Do you? Yeah, it's amazing. It's lovely. It's still too big? It's still... No, it's still too it's small. small. Don't it's fit. Small. It does there. <laughs> <laughs> she's got six weeks to... Not eat. Not eat. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's lovely. Lovely. You love it? Yeah? yeah? I love it. It looks beautiful. Shoes, shoes. Shoes, shoes are beautiful. Oh, I can see them. So high. Her shoes are so high. I'm going to be so much taller than Tony. You're going to have to wear stilts. <laughs> I love it. I think it's lovely. So beautiful. <laughs> Good morning, Synergy Pen here, why she's speaking. Amy is just days away from her wedding. She's booked in for a hair appointment, a salon where bridesmaid Aisha works. So I just want my hair as blonde as possible, just clean, nice blonde. So I look like a princess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think for any bride, it's important to look good on their wedding day. It's the most important thing, looking good, looking like a princess. Unconventional bride-to-be Amy isn't just getting her hair done for the wedding, though. So how are you feeling about having the tattoos done this afternoon? Pooping my pants. You're not the best at having <laughs> no. a tattoo done, are you? No. Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to getting the tattoo, yeah. having it, but I'm not looking forward to so getting it. Are you, ha are you having skulls? I don't know what I'm having. Just something small. <laughs> Teeny. <laughs> It'll be fat. You've had loads. I know, but they're just all little ones, and they're really, really painful. I'm sure it'll be fine. What is it about the tattoo that you're worried about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hurts. The noise oh, and the, the, like, the needle. Just don't like needles. No. With the wedding day getting closer, Amy's feeling the pressure. Can you believe it's next week? I know. So, like, it's cut, like the last two months have just flown by. So weird, isn't it? Like, I'm just like, oh, my God, it's actually next week. It doesn't week. feel real. No, I know. Amy yeah. Beale is getting married. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Jeff. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to be Amy Briggs. Amy Briggs. What's stressing you out the most at the moment, like the build up to the wedding? I just think everything's stressing me out. It's so close that it's just yeah. like, like thinking that I've forgotten stuff as well. Mm. Oh, Amy. And the stress is beginning to show. You got this. I've got this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would do the weird dance for you, but <laughs> I don't think the salon would appreciate it. The crab, the IB for <laughs> crab dance. <laughs> Hair done and bridal wobble over, it's time for Pat and Amy to make their relationship permanent in ink. Amy's having a small, my initials on her wedding ring finger, and I'm having her name across the front of my fingers and a little sugar skull, because there's not a lot of room on my <laughs> wedding ring finger. <laughs> I am getting Pat's initials on my finger, so if I'm not wearing my wedding ring, I've still got his initials on there. I think it shows more commitment that it's there forever. Like, I can't remove it. I'll have to have my finger chopped off if he leaves me. <laughs> Ooh, that finger particularly hurts for some reason. Really bad. Oh, God. Which one's that? The wedding ring finger seems to be hurting the most. 
just what Amy needed to hear. I just absolutely hate needles. So, yeah, I'm a little bit scared, especially as it's, like, on the finger. So, it'll be fine. <laughs> Had to man up. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst build-up to a tattoo ever. Yeah, mate. <laughs> If Hardman Pat thought that was painful... Oh, I like it. How is Amy going to cope? <sighs> Nearly there. All in the name of true love. Oh, that fucking hurts! Fuck! What are you doing to me? <laughs> For Clarissa, perfection doesn't come easy. She's already binned one bridal makeup artist. Now it's time to trial number two. I'm going to see my new makeup artist. Um, and she promises me that she won't make me look like a China doll like the last one. I am nervous because it's getting really close to the wedding, so I need to sort this out like pronto. Hello. 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 Hey, I'm Clarissa. Hi, Clarissa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's hope the new makeup artist can do a better job. Do you usually like quite heavy makeup or do you usually have it quite natural? Quite though? natural, yeah. I don't really ever really wear makeup. So you're after sort of browns and golds and stuff like that for your eyes and yeah. and, and some found that heavy foundation and stuff like that to make the face feel all nice and flawless. Probably not heavy. Sister Shana has come along for support. Hello. There's a mirror there, you can keep that. The darker one is fine. Yeah, okay. Most brides actually like their makeup being done. I've never had a bride who hasn't said it's worth it, so. I'm nervous. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> but will fussy bride Clarissa like the results this time? I don't think I like the contouring on my nose. I think no. I don't I think it's too much. I I'm nice. not a fan of the eyeshadow. It's too much for me. I I like it more natural. It does look natural, though. No, it doesn't, cos it doesn't look like my face. <laughs> Are you sure you actually want makeup? <sighs> I do, right? It's just cos I'm fussy, obviously. The bond's a bit there. Yeah. Not, not, I don't want that. And then I don't want the line underneath. No. Cos that makes my... I, I think this is too dark. I just don't want it so much. I want it... I want less. Yeah. Right. Clarissa knows what she wants. Question is, though, can anyone meet her demands? Bye -bye. I'd like to just wipe it all off and start again, cos I did say that I wanted it natural. Mm -hmm. And for me, this isn't natural. Mm -hmm. This is just... Yeah. This, to me, is, is heavy, heavy, heavy. Do you want to ask for another trial? I'll ask for another one with less makeup on. And if you don't like it, then we'll move on to the next person on the list. Is there a next person? <laughs> <laughs> In Hampshire, it's the night before Amy and Pat's wedding and the bridesmaids are on duty to decorate the venue. Amy's about five minutes away. I'm a little bit worried about how she's going to react with the state of things. There's still electric cables everywhere and people working everywhere, drills, workmen, ladies decorating. If it's not ready in time, then she'll probably lose the pot. <laughs> There's an awful lot left to do. I need my table plan, because I'm pretty sure I've got eight tables. Pardon? Pretty sure I've had eight tables. There is eight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. With stress levels rising, the boss thinks she spotted a big mistake. Look at the table plan, and then you'll understand what I'm fucking trying to say to you. We've got the top table, and then seven. Yeah. Yeah. So it's eight tables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting really confuzzled. Babe, can you bring the table plan in here? She's going to be a bit bossy, a bit demanding. She just generally likes to bark orders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the fuck am I doing? I can't count. Pat, <laughs> you're off the hook. It's her fault. While Amy is struggling to count, Pat's on hand to calm her down. So yeah, so if, so if this is top table, one and two will be there. Like... Adjacent? Yeah. 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 Slightly... And then three... Yeah. I don't know, I can't count! She was fairly laid back at the start of the planning, but the closer and closer it's getting, 
the more stressed, the more frustrated, the more panicky and the more angry she's becoming. So can't wait to get to the big day now. <laughs> get it over and done with. With that crisis over, it's on to the next task. And although she's roped in her bridesmaids to help, no one is safe from Amy's temper. What do you need us to do? Anything? Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing, mate. Fucking. Aisha, will you grab the little things? They're on the top table. The little roll of um, things. <laughs> Wooden things. Other side. Oh, dear God. On the top table. <laughs> I'm losing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Wooden it's thing. Fine, <laughs> Amy knows exactly what she wants, but yeah, it's in her broken. head. Um, and I think it's she probably thinks it's just as quick for her to do it herself rather than to tell us what to do. Where's Daveson? Kevin, Dave was over there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So Dave, Sam, and Isla. Um, so I can imagine that she's quite uh, stressed out at the moment. Nope, they're around there. Fuck so. Hello. Hi. You're right. Amy's mum, Rose, has arrived to help out. But will she like what she sees? The skulls, I don't think we expected anything different, really. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like them, but I'm sure they'll look great. I'm sure everything's just going to look fantastic. Can you check your table? You just make sure, like... The dressing is done and it's time for a last-minute rehearsal, with Amy still centre stage barking commands. Come! Slow! So, pa Brogan, when Paris gets to here, you should be like, yeah? So like this, yeah? Go. Because it's quite... Duh. <laughs> right, don't hold hands. No holding hands. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're linking. Yeah, well, it's fine. They can do what they want. Why well, can't I do what I want? Just fucking do as I tell you! Nope. <laughs> With Pat banished to a nearby hotel for the night, Amy and her bridesmaid have the house to themselves. <laughs> However, he's forgotten something. Oh, fucking idiot. Oh, Pat's forgotten his fucking shoes and his cufflinks. Oh! Can you text Pat and tell him he's forgotten his cufflinks? And... Well, his PPE ones, I don't know if he's wearing them, but he's got his, his shoes for the wedding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's time for bed and some time to think about the day ahead. I feel so delirious right now. Tomorrow morning it's going to be carnage, but it'll be fine. We've just got to be... Everyone's got to keep calm in the morning. Yeah. If we all start getting wound up, then we're all going to start... Losing our tempers. <laughs> Me. No dramas tomorrow, please. Yeah, no dramas. No fighting. Yeah, it'll be fine. In Essex, it's the morning of Clarissa and Tony's wedding. Oh, you found my hair first. Mum, you were going after me. I was going at 10. What's the time? 9.45. You've got 15 minutes to be finished. And everyone is present and accounted for at the lavish 17th century venue. A friend of the family has bravely stepped into the firing line to do Clarissa's makeup, and it's all fingers crossed it'll be third time lucky. Apparently, I'm fussier than I thought I was. I like things to be perfect. I'm a massive perfectionist. However, the schedule is slipping. It's quarter to 12, and we are not on time. My plan was to get ready, everyone ready by 12 so that we had time. I'd say we're probably about an hour behind. Makeup's amazing. Are you pleased with it, Riss? I am. With makeup and hair sorted, it's just the dresses that need to go on, and Clarissa is leaving nothing to chance. Tasha, I'm here, I'll take Including the lacing up of the bridesmaid's dresses. Luckily, Natasha's fits. So that just leaves maid of honour Shana to go. However, there's a problem. Let me take my last breath now. Mm. Right, you come down. Your dress is going to fit you. Don't worry. This bit is fine. Yeah. It's just the little But nothing is going to ruin Clarissa's big day, even breathing. You'll be fine. Right. No worries. Right? Yeah? Yeah? You're right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This bit, where I thought it was going to be tight, is loose, and this bit, which I expected to be tight. Shoes on. With only minutes to go before the start of the ceremony, Clarissa still needs to get dressed. 
Thankfully, her princess dress does fit, but she's still worried about every last detail. Make sure they all go the same way. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, all the same switching. way, no, no foldy bits. No, it will be fine. Yeah, like over, under, over, under, over, under. Time check. Nice are here. They're having a chat with Tony, so it's all beginning to happen. <gasps> Everyone is now waiting for the bride, including Clarissa's brother, Aaron. Stop staying on us. I think that walking someone down the aisle is a very big responsibility. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. As long as I don't fall, you know, I'll be good. The jewellery's not here. I can't really walk, so I'm not going to be walking anywhere for jewellery. The jewellery should come to me. Who wants a drink? Buck fast. <laughs> Buck's fizz. Over in Hampshire, it's the morning of Amy and Pat's wedding. Buck fizz, babe. <laughs> <laughs> and Amy's got a house full. What order are we going down the aisle? What do you mean you don't know? I'm just looking behind. Who might get huh? them to remind me if you don't know? Pat is on his own at a nearby hotel and the nerves are beginning to show. My biggest worry is just fluffing my lines, really. We wrote our own vows and I wrote a speech and I'm not really much of a public speaker. This is, we'll all get there and be like, ah, like carnage. <laughs> I'm not really sure how Amy would be feeling right now. I think she'll be stressing because there's a lot of people at the house getting ready. And I think if they're on time with makeup and stuff, she'd be fine. But if they start falling behind, then I think she'll start getting a bit stressed, barking a few orders. Who's in my bedroom? Um, your dad and Wayne. Who's in the spare room? Uh, Mum. No, your mum. We need to hurry up, folks. We've just got to put our dresses on now. Um, so it's all a bit crazy, not enough rooms to get ready. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm freaking out now. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, so cute. Oh. With the clock ticking, everyone is waiting for the bride. Shit, man, I didn't realise how big this dress was. Right, go. Sorry, I've knocked the shoes over. Oh. Oh. She looks so beautiful. It's time for the finishing touches. Right, can somebody get my trainers on my feet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trainers on, this bride is ready to get married. Can you go to the main room, guys, please? Because Amy's imminent. But over at the venue, all is not well. Sorry, mate, I need to have a quick look and see who's not here. Pat has arrived to find half the guests missing. Yeah, the people still not here. No, they're three minutes out. Right. But you need to keep them here. And Sister Claire has been dispatched to find them. Some people aren't here yet because they've got lost, but Amy's literally like three minutes away. She's got to wait here for a minute until more people turn up. I was like, it's all right, I can wait outside for a minute. I was like, okay, <laughs> that's what you want to do. Turns out quite a few are having a drink. To get them in their seats, Pat shuts the bar. Bar shut, you need to go in. The late guests mean Amy has to wait in the car park. Oh, it's you to be late, right? <laughs> Not exactly the entrance this diva bride was hoping for. Okay, so my hair looks fabulous. Yeah. Just want to find it. Are you ready now? Yeah. Good luck. Okay. You got this. Good Come Good on then. Amy Rose Briggs. Finally, it's Amy and Pat's moment to take centre stage. Pat, would you like to read your vows? Finally, I take you as my wife, my better half, the chilli in my cheese bite. <laughs> I'm going to hold for as long as I can get my arms around you. <laughs> From this day forward, it's for better or worse, for poorer or poorer still. <laughs> in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Will you, Amy Rose Beale, do me the honour of becoming my wife? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I now give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. Newly married again, Mr. and Mrs. Briggs. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand standing with Mr. and Mrs. Briggs. Thank you. With some alternative vows, this alternative couple are now husband and wife. 
Yeah, so we wrote our own vows, a bit different, a bit us, but yeah, everyone seemed to appreciate. I think everyone knew that it were, they weren't going to be normal. Yeah, everyone yeah. seemed to appreciate what, where we were coming from. <laughs> yeah, they went down quite well, I think. Uh, everyone seems to like the skulls going down a storm. Seems to be going really well. The twisted Christmas theme with the skulls has gone down really, really well. Um, everybody loves it and it's come together just perfectly. It looks absolutely awesome. After a lot of planning, some tears and a few bumps along the way, Rebel Bride Amy has pulled off a wedding that no one will forget. So I love my hair, my makeup, my dress. Yeah, everything's been perfect, so really happy. Yeah, it's all a bit surreal at the moment, but... I've got yeah. a husband. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a wife. <laughs> <laughs> In Essex, it's Clarissa's big day. Did you bring my lipstick? She's running late and she's not happy. I want, I want to see Dad before I pick the thing. So I want to see Dad before I go in. Can you get my dad? She wants to see him before she walks down the aisle. After a quick hug, it's time for Clarissa to make her grand entrance. I think the day's going to be spectacular. It's going to be really exciting. And I cannot think of something better to happen to her and for her to be loved by someone like Tony. I love her and that's, that's all that matters, I love her. <laughs> Although she's late, she's back in control and she's ready to marry her man. Tony, I give you this ring. Tony, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. I promise to be loving. I promise to be loving. Faithful and loyal to you. Faithful and loyal to you. In living our married life together. In living our married life together. And you can push the ring fully on. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> So, I am very happy to announce now that you are husband and wife, and Tony, you may kiss your wife. We will all clap. It's job well done for her brother. That was the most proudest moment of my life. Let's have a kiss. I can't even put it into words. It, 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 just, it just got me so much. It's lovely. Everyone is having a great time. They both enjoyed it. She's a perfectionist. I think we all are, to be honest. I think we get it from my dad. Very much a perfectionist, so it's really nice. I think we're just going to have some food and then we're going to party. They can now all enjoy a lavish, child-free reception. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding and join me in a toast to our beautiful bride and groom, Mr and Mrs Sweetman. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, guys. After months of meticulous organisation, numerous revised spreadsheets and vastly over budget, it's all come together just exactly the way Clarissa planned. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian and Green, fantastic stuff.